Please give a big welcome to your host for the evening, Triumph's Head of Brand Management, Miles Perkins. Tonight, right here, we're going to reveal something new and exciting from Triumph, and you're going to be the very first people to see it, hear it, and get to meet some of the famous names involved with its launch. So, let's get started with the Triumph legend and the incredible history that this motorcycle has. So this, of course, is the game-changing 94 Speed Triple T309, and this is written out for us by Luke Stapleford. This is the 509 T509. This was introduced in 1997, and tonight written out by Martin Jessup, the iconic 955i. And our rider is another Daytona 675 World Supersports racer, Stefan Hill, the 2005 Speed Triple 1050. And this is written out for us by Lauren. This is one of Triumph's team. Next up, the 2011 Mark II Speed Triple 1050. And then finally, one more, of course, the current 2017 Speed Triple. Now, tonight, we're going to write a new chapter in this iconic story. Okay, so let's meet our two contenders and the next and greatest ever generation starting in the blue corner, the new 2018 Speed Triple S. So here it is, the first new bike in our all new lineup, ridden of course by two times Isle of Man TT winner, Gary Johnson, let's give him a hand. And in the red corner, the stunning all-new Top of the Range 2018 Speed Triple RS. Fantastic. So here it is, ridden out by seven times world champion and British racing legend, ladies and gentlemen. Carl Fogarty. So we're going to see both of them again very soon to find out the answer to that question. So here they are, without doubt, the greatest speed triples ever made. Now, to give you the full story on the new specifications, let me now hand you over to Luke Bowler. In 94, Triumph's original Speed Triple created a whole new category. Aggressive, agile and purposeful, from then to today it's built an incredible following for its perfect balance of attitude, power, handling and capability and every single generation has been better than the previous, which I don't think could be said for any other motorcycle. And today, Triumph launched literally the greatest Speed Triple ever, with this the new Speed Triple S and the new Speed Triple RS. So why is this the greatest? First up, this is the most powerful and responsive Speed Triple ever and the best sounding by a country mile. And this is from major engine development work with over 100 new parts resulting in a new engine that spins up faster and delivers 10 PS more power to 150 PS with even more of that hair-raising triple torque and both with freer flowing exhausts and on the RS, arrow silencers as standard. This is also the smartest and most technologically advanced speed triple ever with five inch full color TFT instruments, up to five different riding modes, illuminated switch cubes, cruise control and DRL headlights. And on top of that, on the RS, you get optimised cornering ABS and traction control supported by a new inertial measurement unit and finally, keyless ignition. 
These are also the best handling speed triples ever. Combining the more responsive throttle with Triumph's trademark neutral handling, high spec, fully adjustable suspension, Showa on the S and Olin's on the RS, powerful Brembo M4 34 front brakes, Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa tires, and a three kilogram weight saving on the RS. And finally, you've got all of the Speed Triple's aggressive, nose down, focused attitude with even higher quality finish and detailing, including new wheels and silencers. And on the RS, brand new carbon fiber bodywork, a matte aluminum rear subframe, and a color coded belly pan and seat cowl. So there you have it, the most powerful, best sounding, smartest and best handling speed triples ever. Still the perfect balance, still the original hooligan. Luke and me have both made very bold claims about the speed triple soundtrack here which is frankly an amazing development on what is already a really hair-raising sound. Now this is in no way because of the arrow silencers on the RS. I think you need to hear this for yourselves. Do you want to hear them? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so to help me, I'd like to welcome back Martin Jessup and, of course, Luke Stapleford. <laughs> All right then, so we'll start with the new Speed Triple S. Okay, mine, let's hear the previous generation. And now the S. What do you think? Not only much crisper and richer, but also with a cleaner engine and purer sound. Now, if you think that's great, you need to have a listen to this with the arrow silencers. Martin, let's hear the previous generation again. Thank you very much, Martin, and thank you, Luke. Now we know all about the bikes, I think we need to find out about the racers and which one of those famous British racing icons came out on top. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage Carl Fogarty and Gary Johnson. All right. Do you want to see how it turned out? Let's see what happened in the race. Fogarty by a nose. <laughs> so, Carl, that looked like a lot of fun. 
you know, I've not had that much fun for like nearly 20 years. It, it took me like probably um, a full day or so to like get up to speed. And, you know, yeah. obviously Gary's a current racer, so I'm like trying to remember what to do 20 years ago. Uh, so it came back quite quickly with this thing because uh, it's so agile to throw around the cones and stuff through the, um, the barricade, bollard things, and in and out of the barracks. It was, uh, it was a great fun doing skids and doing wheelies together. Like I say, it uh, took a while for the memory to come back to how to do it, but uh, great fun. And uh, I just had Gary to play around with, so it was quite easy, really, you know. <laughs> And for you, Gary, how did you find the new Speed Triple? Yeah, I've rode both bikes, and uh, this one's fantastic. It's ever so responsive. It, it spins up so quick. Neutral handling, it's just easy to wheelie, stoppy, which we're not going to with Cal. And obviously, with good camera techniques, you can even make someone that age look <laughs> faster. <laughs> thank you very much, Gary. And thank you very much, Carl. Ladies and gentlemen. So... There you have it, the all new Speed Triple S and Speed Triple RS, the greatest ever Speed Triples. More powerful, smarter, sharper, better handling, and all of that nose down uh, attitude. Still the perfect balance, and still the original hooligan. I'd like to thank you all very much for coming. I hope you had a good time. So have a safe journey home, and good night. So what makes the new Speed Triple special? I mean, firstly, it's the um, most powerful speed triple we've ever made, but it's not just about the power. The way the engine spins up and that glorious sound that we get out of the new bike, you know, is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I've ridden a few speed triples. I was on last year's. I, I got to keep one of them for a few months. Getting on this new one straight away, instantly. I could tell the power was better. It's more responsive, spins up quicker. And that all in all, it, it, it kind of makes the bike feel lighter in itself that way. I instantly noticed it did feel lighter, the centre of gravity is being moved on the bike, makes it so much more flickable and just good fun and neutral to ride. I think the new bike's amazing, to be honest. Um, I've got the old bike, well I say old bike, it's only, it's only two years old and, and I thought that was, that was awesome, incredible sounding thing, but this, it's just got up another level, the handling of it, the agility, throwing it around, the sound. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just improved in every area really, which I didn't think was possible, so it's a, a great bike to be a little devil on. I got a 20, 2016, so the, old, the older version, what's now the older version, yeah. and it's, uh, yeah, it spins up a lot, 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 as they said, a lot quicker. Or so, number five, it's got to be on the cards, isn't it? Awesome. Even compared to my, my, my bike, which has got an aftermarket exhaust, exhaust system on it, it sounds fantastic. Uh, I really like that crisp, rorty sound to it. If it's anything like the street, it's going to be, you're going to get to the first bend, you're going to love it. This is going to be like that, plus 10 in it. So. This is a truly iconic motorcycle within the overall Triumph range, and it is a motorcycle that has an amazing following. More than 100,000 people have actually bought a new Speed Triple, and there's a huge weight of responsibility within the company to deliver the best ever Speed Triple, and that's exactly what we've done.